Hi, I'm David with Rapid Materials. Today we're going to demonstrate how to use the HC1 hole cutter from Malco. Um, now, I've never used this tool before, so it's going to be a learning process for both of us. Like that. Got a little tool. And we've got a centering part for that. And very basic instructions. All right, it looks like assembly is pretty easy on this. Uh, this bushing sets the depth of the tool. We just want to make sure that's snug. Next, we take the uh, HC1D top bearing part out and put the drill bit in through the hole. And slide this back in. Bring it down snug. And then we set our hole size. This wrench is probably overkill, but it works. And then we slide it along the tool until we find our depth. And let's say, let's cut a four and a half inch hole for grins. We'll snug that back down. A little bit of tightness with the wrench. And then we attach our drill to it. And we should be ready to cut. All right, so we've secured a piece of uh, 24 gauge steel to the table to keep it from moving around, and we've drilled a pilot hole for the center of our uh, the hole we're going to cut. All right, so we've marked our center point, center that put the tool into the center. cuts a neat little hole. Okay, one of the questions we've been asked is will this tool work on ACM? And we're about to find out. For those not familiar with ACM, it's an aluminum clad material. Uh, this particular product has a, an FR uh, fire resistant core, which makes up most of the material, and uh, about a 027 inch aluminum on both sides. So it's uh, aluminum composite material or metal composite material. And uh, today we're going to use this sheet and see if we can cut a nice little hole in it. So first thing we need to do is fasten it down. And because of the thickness of this material, we're going to have to cheat this up just a little bit higher than normal. Perfect. All right, again, we're going to set our pivot point in the hole. Drill through and then clockwise. Well, folks, that looks like a pretty nice hole in a piece of ACM. Let's peel this back and see what the edge looks like. And that is a perfect six inch hole. So in conclusion, it cuts real well in 24 gauge steel, which means it will cut well in any steel gauge lighter than that. Copper, zinc, aluminum, I see no issues with. And ACM does a beautiful job. Um, I'd say I'd give this one a, a two thumbs up. Great tool to use. Well, thanks for watching our video today. For more great videos, visit us at youtube.com or on our website at rapidmaterials.com.